Hello, I'm John Pledger with Triad V Supply in Trinity, North Carolina. Uh, we're going to introduce a package bees to a hive today and show the pros and cons on what to do and what not to do and how to do it. Alright, the first thing we're going to do is uh, prepare the hive to receive the new package of bees. The first thing we're going to do is remove the lid. Uh, that's the telescopic top and then we'll remove the inner cover. Once we do that, we have few frames we want to take out in order to uh, deal with the extra bees coming into the package all at one time. I usually take about three frames out and just set them aside. We'll get to them later. And that'll leave you a large enough gap in here for your bees to fit in, plus put the queen in and get everything ready to roll. All right, now that we have our hive ready to receive the package, we'll need to get the package ready to go into the hive. First thing we want to do is remove the piece of Luan that's uh, over top the can and the queen area. Uh, by removing this, you don't release your bees uh, by removing this. All you're doing is allowing yourself to get into where everything's at. Don't throw this away just yet. Just set it upside down over off to the side. Our next step is to remove the can. Uh, catch it with your hive tool and pull it up. And uh, once we get it up here so far, we're going to bump the bees down in order to uh, get the bees down away from the can and away from the queen. The queen's attached to the end of this uh, piece of strap right here. So we're going to bump them down. That drops the bees down, remove it, put the piece of wood back over. You have your feed can that you no longer need. Our next step is to remove the uh, the queen. We have to get her out of the out of here, and uh, so that we can work with her and get her set into the hive. So we'll cut our strap just a little bit around the staple, so that uh, we can free her. Now, when you pick this piece of wood up, the bees are going to want to try to fly out, so it doesn't hurt to bump them down a little bit more again. Pull the queen out. Now we have the queen. And uh, as most package manufacturers do, they put this strap just the opposite of what you need in order to install your bees. The free strap should be at the candy end, not the uh, other end. So you'll have to pull it loose. You have to restaple it back in the right place so that you can hang your, your queen and uh, so that she can be released. Once we have our queen out, we have a candy end, which is the white substance. And then you have your other end. Whatever you do, do not pull the cork out of the end that does not have candy. That is a mistake. Uh, some YouTube videos have you remove that cork to put a piece of marshmallow in there. That's a mistake as well. What you want to do is remove this cork out at this end of the Benton cage. What happens is when you pull that cork out, the bees inside of the, the hive will eat their way into the queen and release the queen. That'll take them anywhere from three to four days to do that. All right, now that we have the Benton cage that contains the queen ready to go into the hive, we need to remove the stopper on the candy end. The easiest way is to take your small knife or tool, pry it out. Now this is ready to release the queen. Uh, you can toss the cork if you want, keep it if you want. Uh, anytime you have a queen out and some bees are in the area, you're going to attract a lot of bees in to try to feed the queen. You can ignore them. They're free bees. So we can remove this off of the hive. Then we're going to staple the, the uh, cage to the top of a frame and that will hold it in place. All right, there's another way of introducing your queen. It's a little bit simpler, easier to deal with. It does require the, the, uh, the use of a shim that I'll show you here in a minute. But we will need to remove about three frames out of the hive, off to the side. Put a shim, anywhere from three quarter inch shim to two inch shim will work. Take your uh, queen inverter upside down so that that screen is between several frames, two frames so that the bees can come up from the underneath, feed the queen, and also work on eating away the candy in order to release her. All right, now we're ready to put the bees into the hive, and uh, that's the simple part. 
first thing you're going to do is before you remove this lid is you're going to just take a little bit of sugar spray, uh, dilute sugar solution, spray your bees with it a little bit. This will help you when you bump them down. And you're going to bump them down a couple of times, remove the lid, spray inside, and then you can just invert your hot in the box directly right over top. Let it sit there. If you have an empty hive body, you can put over top of this. That'll work. Or if you just want to leave it here for a couple hours and let the bees work their way in, they'll work, work their way down, back up to where the queen's at. A few hours later, you come and just shake the rest of the bees that are in here back into the hive and close it up for the night. There's just another method that you can use where you're shaking the bees into the hive which works a lot quicker. If you have several colonies to do, it works a lot faster. It does irritate the bees a little bit more to shake them around. After all, they've been traveling for several hundred miles to get to where you're at. And uh, the more you shake them, the more you irritate them. If you're gonna go ahead and shake them in, I'd suggest you spray them a little bit more with a little bit of sugar syrup. And all that does is helps keep them all stuck together. Uh, keeps them from flying around so much too. Uh, the easy way to do this is to go ahead and just shake them a little bit, get them rolling around. Uh, you notice they, they don't want to come out very easy right away, so you can bump them. And then you set this at the front entrance of the hive and let these bees that are in here work their way into the hive. Once you do that, you're ready just to close it up, put your frames in, close up your hive. Do not go into it until four days are up. After four days are up, you're going to go back in and remove the queen cage itself. One last step before we're finished, and that is to put an entrance reducer into the front of the hive. The entrance reducer has two different openings. Uh, one is for a large opening and the other is for a small opening. Anytime you have uh, a package introduction, you want to use the small opening. And you just slide it in at the front of the hive. That reduces the opening that the bees have to guard. Since they're in a weakened state, this will help keep robber bees from taking over this hive before it has a chance to become established. And that's all there is to it.